Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Allison. Welcome, thank you for being here. I am a mom of two, a stepmom of two, and I have been in the fitness industry since I graduated high school back in 2008. So I've kind of come in and out, did the corporate world thing, did a lot of traveling, but fitness has always been a part of my life since I was a young child. And so I made it my career uh, back when I had my son almost five years ago. I started doing fitness from home so now I've brought it to YouTube and I just really love helping people find a way to love fitness because you know everyone kind of has workouts that they prefer so I just love when people find something that works for them and hopefully my workouts are something that you love but anyway I'm super passionate about especially helping busy moms be able to fit exercise and fitness into their lives so that they can be feeling good have time for themselves, be working on their health overall. So anyway, I'm super excited that you're here and I'm excited for our workout today. We're doing one of my 20 rep challenges. So basically we have exercises for all of the muscle groups today. So it's a total body workout. And for each exercise, we have one minute to complete 20 reps. Side note, if you don't hit the 20 reps, that's totally fine. And you'll also see that I am doing the exercise for the full minute because I want to be um, doing the exercise with everybody. So if there's somebody who needs the full minute to the, do the 20 reps, I want to be doing that with that person. So you'll also see that I'm using dumbbells um, through a lot of the exercises, but don't feel like you have to just because I am. They are optional. Please make sure you have water with you. Super important that we're staying hydrated. Uh, yeah, so I think those are all the details for today. We are just warming up right now, finishing up our warm up actually. And then we'll do our 14 exercises and then at the end we will cool down. So let's just finish out our warm up nice and strong and then we're going to go into our first exercise which will be a squat here in just a little bit. So just wrapping up the warm up here, we are going to get some water after this, thumbs up, <laughs> and then we're gonna go into our squat, like I said. So before we start with our squat, I just wanna say when you're doing your squat, you want your weight to be in your heels and then it's like you're sitting back as if you're sitting into a chair behind you. Um, and then if you want, I will show you once the exercise starts some modifications like side leg lifts or knee raises or really whatever works for you if the squat is not comfortable. All right, so we have started our first exercise. And remember, you're going to count your own reps. The other option is don't count your reps and just do the exercise with me for the minute. Um, if you would rather do that and not have to think about your reps. So you have options here as always. I always provide modifications. I always want to give you more options. So here I am showing you the knee raise. I'm going to show you a side leg lift. You could do a kickback, honestly, just whatever. If you have a favorite leg exercise that you want to do, feel free to do that. But we're going to be doing the squat. We've got about 20 seconds left. All right, squeezing those legs and the glutes as you come up. Very good, keep that core nice and tight and let's finish out those 14 seconds. All right, great job on those squats. One exercise down, we are moving on to step ups. So if you want, you can grab a chair. That's, if you don't want to, you can do a glute bridge on the ground or you could do lunges or any other exercise that you prefer. But you're gonna put your foot planted on the chair and then you're going to come up to a standing position. I'm showing you here another option. If you don't wanna do the glute bridge, you could do knee up and then a kick back. So for this one, you wanna do 10 step ups on each leg if you're doing the 20 reps or you can switch at 30 seconds. So work those legs, keep that core tight and just do your best.
All right, great job. So now we are going to move on to the upper body and we are gonna start with a high row. So knees are slightly bent, keep that back straight and the neck neutral. And then you're just gonna squeeze the upper back muscles and bring those elbows up. And then your palms are facing you. So again, core tight, squeeze that back. All right, great job. So you've got 42 seconds left if you're counting your reps. Um, so yeah, how's everybody's week going? Um, mine has been fast. <laughs> it's a, it's been a quick week. Uh, I do a few different jobs in addition to my YouTube channel as a work from home mom. One of those is that I work like admin work for a CPA firm. So very busy right now with tax day coming, but things are good. Um, just, you know, time goes by fast, even though the days might feel crazy. Uh, my how old is she? 20 month old is just there. I don't know. All my kids just seem to be growing so fast. So, but it's all good. Trying to enjoy all the moments in the midst of the craziness. So, okay. We are going to move on to bicep exercise, which is going to be outward curls. So you'll see that my arms are just out at a little bit of an angle. Go ahead and start. But if you prefer, if that feels wonky to you, you can just do regular curls where your palms are facing forward. Um, so yeah, just keep that core tight. Knees are soft, squeezing the biceps. Try to picture in your mind squeezing your bicep muscles as you bring those hands up to your shoulders. We are going to move on to another back exercise. It's going to be a deadlift with a pause. So a lot of times I do this as a lower body exercise, but it is also a fantastic lower back, back in general exercise. So you'll see that I'm pausing before I come up right there and then back up. So lower down, pause and up. And you'll really feel like your back stabilizing. So you can also pause on the, the way down. So pause there, all the way down, pause at your knees again, and then come up. So your knees is kind of like the benchmark for the pause. So lower down to your knees, hold, lower down all the way, or to where you feel that pull in the back of your legs really good. You don't have to go all the way down to your legs. That's just where I feel that pull in my hamstrings the best, side note. <laughs> And then the modification is don't go down so far. So if you want to, you can just st stay where you're paused at your knees and then come back up. All right, great job. So now I have my chair because I'm 5'10 and it's hard for me to fit <laughs> into the camera screen so you guys can see me the entire time. So we are doing an overhead extension for the triceps. So I'm holding one weight in both of my hands that just feels more comfortable if you prefer to have like lighter weights um, in each hand that works too just do what works more what works better for you what's more comfortable but you want to keep your elbows in and just really focus on squeezing the back of the arms all right so working the triceps we have 37 more seconds so you're doing great hang in there and let's work those triceps
All right, so now our next move is going to be for the chest and I call this a scoop fly. So you can see that it's like you're scooping underneath something. So this one, I want to note that if you prefer, you can do both arms at the same time where you would be bringing them together and meeting in the front. I just prefer to do alternating with this. I am using 10 pound dumbbells right now. If I was using fives, I would do them at the same time, but I wanted to show the option of doing alternating. So you've got options as usual. Let's squeeze the chest. You're kind of feel it in the front of the chest, kind of like when you're doing push-ups, kind of like in front of your armpit and then in, in your chest. So keep going. You got 20 seconds, squeeze that chest. You're doing so good. Again, knees are soft and core is tight. All right, moving on to shoulders. We are going to do a shoulder press, but you can see that my hands are in facing one another. So this is, I call this an inward palm press. I'm sure there's other terms for it, but that's what I call it. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Knees are soft, core tight, and then squeezing those shoulder muscles. I'm gonna grab a chair in a second, you'll see, because at the top of the move, my hands are out of the shot. So you do not have to do that. You keep going. I will be right back <laughs> with my chair. Tall people problems. Um, I come from a tall family. My dad is 6'2". I think he used to be 6'3". My mom um, is 5'9". She used to be like 5'10 or 5'11". I'm 5'10". My brother is 6'6". Six, six, so yeah, we're, we're tall people. My kids are tall. <laughs> so anyway. I know sometimes in, I don't know if like if you can tell because to me, I just look like me on camera, but like before I said I was 5'10", did you think I was tall or can you not really tell? I'm always curious about that. <laughs> All right, we are going to move on. We're still going here. We're gonna go down to push-ups. So I'm doing them on my hands and knees, but feel free to do how, them how they work best for you and where you're at right now, hands and toes. You can do them against the wall and elevated surface. Um, also, you're gonna see my head like bobbing because I was listening to Tori Kelly and she is one of my favorite artists. I love her music. I love her just, you know, how she seems as a person. Um, so yeah, I was <laughs> jamming out. So anyway, what is your favorite music to listen to when you're working out? But since I met you, I didn't know it, that underneath it all you started something. On a Saturday night, I was doing just fine. I was out on my own, didn't want nobody else. Then I opened my eyes and I put down my pride. I was holding you closer than anybody else. When the lights go out, it's you. All right, way to go. Cheesy smile for finishing the push-ups. They are tough for me, for sure. I'm still jamming out to Tori Kelly. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to go into a dumbbell scaption here. Uh, dumbbell scaption raise. So it's similar to a lateral raise, but the hand positioning is a little bit different. I love to change up hand positioning for upper body moves, feet positioning for lower body moves, because it just it's so cool that you can change how you're targeting and hitting the muscle by just the slightest different position. So anyway, we've got 37 more seconds to hit our 20 reps. I was definitely feeling this at this point, <laughs> feeling those shoulders burning. But if you ever feel like you need to take a break because you're about to, you know, your form is going to be compromised or something like that, please take a break, shake your arms out or your legs or whatever it is, and then join back in when you can. It's not worth like the extra reps or whatever is not worth the injury. So if you start to feel your form compromising, please stop. But we've got seven more seconds and then we're actually gonna go down to the floor for the last few exercises that are gonna be for the core. So go ahead and get down to the floor if you can. And we're gonna start with bicycle crunches. I kind of start a few seconds late. So the timer is about to start in a few seconds here. 
So if you can, get into position, and then I will also show a modification for the bicycle crunches a few seconds into when I start the move. So side to side is one rep. So you're gonna go side to side for 20 times, or again, you can do the full minute if you would prefer. I will also show the modification here. So bringing the head down in case you feel like your neck is straining and then you're just switching legs. So this would be one rep, right? Left is one, one rep, but you get it, okay? <laughs> Hang in there, you're almost done. Yep, more than halfway through. So 24 seconds to get those 20 reps in. This one can go pretty quick, so that's exciting. <laughs> Okie dokie, so stay kind of, you're gonna stay right there. Pretty much similar setup. And from here, you're going to do reaches towards the knee. And um, I will show another modification here too, just in case you start to feel like it's straining in your neck. But yeah, so you'll do each side. So reach to the right, reach to the left. That is one rep. All right, so hang in there. We have this and then we have one more move, which is going to be a plank at the end. And then we are going to stretch it out. So here's your modification, a little bit more of a low impact option, but hang in there. You're doing great. And we only have one more move. Yes, it is a plank. And I know that's a challenge, but it's such a great way to finish out this workout. friends the time has come for our last exercise and I already told you what it is I spoiled the surprise but it's going to be a plank I gave you guys opportunity to, <laughs> to leave the workout earlier once I said a plank just kidding I know you're not gonna leave because it's a plank it's a good challenge all right so we I'm holding this for a minute you do what works for you um, I know it doesn't really fit into a 20 rep category um, so if you want to do it for 45 seconds or if you want to do it for the full minute, you can see that I'm taking a break. I was toast at this point. My arms were really feeling all the exercises that we had done. So I was, I was trying to like move my legs. I was trying to just take little breaks here and there. Um, so yeah, do what works for you. You can do, you can bring your um, arms down to where your forearms would be resting on the ground. You can do modification to where you're on your knees or again, up on like a couch or something. So you're more of like an unelevated surface, but you're almost there. You got five more seconds. I know it's tough, but you're doing so great. Three, two, one. And planks are great because it's something that you can really build up your endurance to. Um, so yeah, with all of it, please just have grace with yourself. Like even just day to day, even if you've been doing exercise for your whole life, like there's still days that you show up and it's just not your best. So what I want you to focus on is that you showed up in the first place and that you put the hard work in. Like life is so busy. Even if you're not a mom like me, like me, like a busy young mom, um, you might be a mom in a different season of life, but like just whatever season of life you're in like you're probably busy because <laughs> life is just busy so I feel like it's such an accomplishment to make the time to actually push play to put those workout clothes on to carve out time in your day when there's so many other things pulling you in so many other different directions interruptions distractions whatever you want to call it so it's just such a big deal that you showed up you did the work so I always just feel like that's so much more important than sweating the little details of like, oh, I didn't hit the 20 reps or I didn't do it the way that like she's doing it on the video or whatever the case may be. 
Um, you know, I did modifications or like, there's so many things that our minds can tell us that like, we didn't do good enough, but I just want to tell you, like you did good enough. You showed up, you put in the work and I'm so glad that you did. Um, so I hope that you are feeling like super energized, feel all the endorphins kicking in now. And it's just like such a sense of accomplishment. Uh, at least that's how I feel. Like once a workout is done, I just feel so good. I feel proud of myself and yeah, all the, the natural hormones that come with it are definitely a bonus, but anyway, we're just working through some stretches right now. Lower body stretch. I almost fall over here. You'll see in just a second, but, um, side note, if you would like to <laughs> hold on to a chair or the wall or something like that to help you with balance, cause it's definitely more important to focus on the stretching right now, as opposed to like the balance. So yeah, let's just enjoy these stretches and, um, we're gonna make sure that we're staying hydrated throughout the rest of the day, keep moving. Obviously, uh, when I worked in the corporate world, it was really hard for me to get out from my desk because it was just so if you have to like I would set myself reminders when I needed to use the restroom I would go to like one of the top floors so that I would have to use the stairs so I know sometimes it takes some creativity to keep moving depending on what you do during the day but it's just so important to keep moving after your workout as much as you can again stay hydrated um, feel your body with nutrients. So make sure after you're done with this workout that you're trying to get some nutrients in, um, some food in within like an hour. Um, just all the things to help your muscles recover from all of the work that you just did. So drinking water, these stretches, keep moving throughout the day, you know, feel your body after this, all the good things. So we are about to wrap up this warm up. We're doing our cat cow stretch right now. I super love this one. Slowly rolling back up to the top. Very good. And then we're just gonna do some deep breaths here at the end to wrap it up. Big cheesy smile because we're done. <laughs> and I made it through a workout without my daughter waking up. No, I'm just kidding. She's actually become a super great sleeper and I'm very grateful for that. But anyway, thank you again so much for being here. I hope that you really enjoyed this workout. I hope that you feel energized, ready to go and take on whatever this day may have for you. You did awesome. And yeah, I just really enjoyed this day with you. Fantastic job. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter. Um, and we will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.